Good day, everyone, and welcome to Learn English with Blaine. And this is your advanced dictation number 30. And in this dictation, you will see that each dictation is going to have either maybe written as one word or maybe written as two words. Now, if you're not sure why some of the sentences will have this form and some of the sentences will have this form, I will leave the, the links to a video that I made about this in the description below the video as well as a quiz. Okay, now, do you have your pen and your paper ready? Because remember that you are going to listen and then write what you hear. Now, there will be five dictations and I will say each one three times as usual. Okay, everyone, this is dictation number one. Dictation number one. Maybe we should get going now because it's very late, comma, and I have to work early in the morning, period. Can I call you tomorrow? Maybe we should. Maybe we should get going now get going now because it's very late comma because it's very late comma and i have to work and i have to work early in the morning period can I call you tomorrow? Can I call you tomorrow? Question mark. Okay, now I will give you a few more seconds to complete your writing. And remember to, to write the correct form of maybe. Okay, and this is what I said. Maybe we should get going now because it's very late, comma, and I have to work early in the morning, period. Can I call you tomorrow? Maybe we should get going now because it's very late and I have to work early in the morning. Can I call you tomorrow? So here again, so this is what I said, and remember that this form is going to be the one the as written as one word because remember if you watch my video you would see that maybe like this is always going to be at the beginning of a sentence so if it's at the beginning of a sentence you're always going to write it as one word like this one here okay let's go on to dictation number two dictation number two while it may be true that you didn't do well on your last exam, comma, I think you will do much better this time around because you have been studying very hard these last few months. I know that was a long one, so I'll say it again slower. While it may be true, while it may be true, that you, that you didn't do well, didn't do well on your last exam, on your last exam, comma, I think you will do, I think you will do, much better this time around. Much better this time around. Because you have been, because you have been studying very hard, studying very 
card. These last few months. These last few months. Period. Okay, so again, I'll give you a little while to complete your writing. Okay, well, it may be true that you didn't do well on your last exam, comma. I think you will do much better this time around because you have been studying very hard these last few months. Well, it may be true that you didn't do well on your last exam. I think you will do much better this time around because you have been studying very hard these last few months. Now, in this case, it's going to be separated. It's going to maybe uh, as two words because here we have the subject, right? So remember that often when we separate may and be the way we did here, it's because we're going to have a subject. So here we have the subject pronoun it in front of maybe. So we're going to have it as two words. Okay, now if you have any questions, um, just leave your question in the comment section and I am going to be doing another some more quizzes with maybe and maybe with these two forms. So look out for that this week, okay? Okay, let's go to dictation number three. <clears throat> dictation number three. I think that maybe we should save more money and buy the house a little later in the year, period. House prices are expected to go down, comma, and we will have more time to save for a larger down payment. I think that, I think that maybe we should save, maybe we should save more money, more money, and buy the house and buy the house a little later in the year, period. A little later in the year, period. House prices, house prices are expected to go down, are expected to go down, comma, and we have, sorry, and we will have, and we will have more time, more time to save, to save for a larger down payment, for a larger down payment, period. I think that maybe we should save more money and buy the house a little later in the year. House prices are expected to go down, comma, and we will have more time to save for a larger down payment. I think that maybe we should save more money and buy the house a little later in the year. House prices are expected to go down and we will have more time to save for a larger down payment. Okay, so that's what I said, and the reason why we're using this one is because this is an adverb. Now, we have the subject here, but this subject goes with this verb, okay, not with this adverb. Okay, let's move on to dictation number four. Dictation number four. John and Robert may be coming by later to help you with your car. 
period. How much do you think we should pay them? Question mark. I think around $150 should be good. John and Robert. John and Robert. Maybe coming by. Maybe coming by. Later. Later. To help you with your car. Period. To help you with your car. Period. How much do you think? How much do you think? We should pay them? Question mark. We should pay them? Question mark. I think around. I think around. $150 should be good. Period. I think around $150 should be good. Period. John and Robert may be coming by later to help you with your car. How much do you think we should pay them? I think around $150 should be good. John and Robert may be coming by later to help you with your car. How much do you think we should pay them? I think around $150 should be good. So. In this case, we are using maybe separated because here we have the subject. So this is actually acting as a verb right here. This is why we have them separated. But remember that when we have them separated, it means that it's a verb, not an adverb. Okay, let's go on to our last dictation number five. Dictation number five. Are you going to stay home from work today? Question mark. I think that maybe you should, period. You didn't sleep well last night, comma, and it seems you still have a sore throat and a cough. Are you going to, are you going to stay home from work today? Stay home from work today? Question mark. I think that maybe you should. I think that maybe you should. Period. You, you didn't sleep well last night, comma. You didn't sleep well last night, comma. And it seems, and it seems, you still have a sore throat and it seems you still have a sore throat and a cough period and a cough period so i'll give you a few more seconds to finish off this last dictation number five Are you going to stay home from work today? Question mark. I think that maybe you should. Period. You didn't sleep well last night, comma. And it seems you still have a sore throat and a cough. Period. Are you going to stay home from work today? I think that maybe you should. Period. You didn't sleep well last night, comma. And it seems you still have a sore throat and a cough, period. Now, in this case, we have got maybe as one word, here it's acting as an adverb. It's acting as an adverb. 
We'll be talking more about uh, the difference between these two words, maybe and maybe, in the future. And even if you didn't get the spelling correct on each one, don't worry, it's mainly about getting most of the words um, that I say as a dictation. Anyway, thank you so much everyone. I really appreciate you watching the video and participating. And remember, if you do have any comments or questions, leave those in the comment section below the video. And if you like the video, please remember to share, like, and subscribe. Now, our schedule is that on Sundays we'll be doing idioms. On Monday, beginner dictations. On Wednesday, intermediate dictations. And on Friday, advanced dictation. So thank you so much again everyone. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye bye.